they think that we that are watching the show shall our brain something is missing because i don't understand what on earth is aggressive cuddling Homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it was happening? My name is Omi Odike, and this is Talk to Your Homie TV. My darling here, I love to give very sweet and juicy gist. And today, I want to just come and report something to you guys. Since this people in Nigeria evicted housemates, they think we don't have sense. No, 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 no. They think that we that are watching the show, sha, well, our brain, something is missing because I don't understand. I beg, help me answer something. No. What on earth is aggressive cuddling? What does that even mean? You see, Chris, see, I want to tell you about two particular people in Nigeria have me that have been evicted. First one is this set, praise. Second one is Toyo. Hmm? Let's give you praise just first. Let's see now. Ibuka has gone to go and sit down with praise to have an interview with praise. I'm like, oh, because you know me, I told me, you guys, if you watch my videos very well, I liked praise. I can't lie. He was a correct guy. You feel me? <laughs> That's how Ibuka first of all asked him that, okay, in the house, who does he really want to win the money? He said either um, either Lakeo or either Prince because they were his guys, they were real, and the fact that that they impacted to, in his life and he also did like, impact in their life as well. And he thinks that he can call them friend, and it's true because I mean the way Prince broke down and cried when Prince was evicted, it was crazy. Prince, as in. I to say, please come and hug me. He was crying. He felt really bad, like now personal something. You get me? So he was like, yeah, he wants um, Leko and um, Prince to win, yeah. So they're not with you. Next question they asked him was, okay, so why did he have that issue with Kid Wire also? Because you know, like when Kid Wire was HOHR, they were always bombing heads together. And Prince was like, hey, because for Kid Wire, he wanted him to practice what he preached. Do you get me? And I mean, <laughs> I did a video talking about the matter. When Kid Wire was HOH, it wasn't the most clean get me like first of all the way they shared the chores how they were saving food in the fridge it was just you know there were just some bumpy roads that i feel like they should that it should not have happened if he really wanted to i mean and you know praise was like the fact that they had like no matter how they performed for their um wager challenge the fact that they will not win because of infringements and you know kid by had quite a lot of infringements he also erica so it wasn't just a uh, switch. Uh. So they asked him thirdly, yeah, so which housemate do you think has the best strategy in the house? And Praise was like, hey, okay, Praise was like that. The, to him, or the person who has the, who had the best, not the best, but strategy uh, is Brighto because Brighto is one person that he does not understand. And nobody understands Brighto really. It's only us that are watching the show that can see what he's doing. Like, and, and you know, see, yeah, let me tell you, because when they evicted praise, Kid Wire is angry that when somebody is evicted, he doesn't like it that housemates are crying because he's like, why are you crying? It was this same housemate that called, because you know, uh, eviction is by the house. When we vote the list for, Biggie will say, oh yeah, you guys, come and vote out who you want to leave. So Kid Wire's own pain is like, but if you guys went to the room to call the person's name why are you crying new was like see we chill like no matter what i mean first of all they had to call somebody's name secondly like no matter what you tell me like it, the person is being evicted it will pain you like you will just feel like you will just feel somehow bright to nonsense able why he doesn't think like crying or feeling bad is good is because you might come and be crying for somebody now and the person will now go outside and now see that you know, things were not as they were or as they thought. I'm like, Brighto, talk about it because obviously, the way you carry phrase matter eh, and crucify the guy, you have to feel yeah, you, that has to be your excuse. Are you joking? And then, I mean, so so that's why praise, praise doesn't really understand Brighto's strategy, but that the gist crux of the matter is actually Katrina. Ibuka asked um, praise that uh, there was some under the duvet, you know, movement. And Prince was like, nothing happened. Ibuka had to clear through, like, <coughs> so yeah, nothing happened. That, of course, they, they drank, they played games, listen, and they laid down and they kissed and cuddled, but it was an aggressive cuddle. What was that? Please. Do you know what aggressive cuddle is? That thing that you guys didn't have to do, it was so peaceful, honey. Aggressive cuddle and the camera and the cameraman zoomed on you, praise. And you have to look at the because I remember the videos on my Instagram page, go and check it, talk to your own TV. And you have to look at the door first before you now did what you had to do. And it was, I did not see you carrying her aggressively. It was a very peaceful movement of the waist. What, what was 
able car to say this is one aggressive car. What is it? See, let, let, I will still go back to Bam Bam and Teddy A. See, at the point she left the house, she had no clue. Or maybe she had, I don't know. But they married later on after the show was over. I interviewed Bam Bam. Big ups, Bam Bam. Today, tomorrow, big dagger up. Because Bam Bam said, I said, have you seen your, your sex tape? He said, yes. She, has, she owned up to it. See, it's better you just say no comment than to say aggressive. You think we don't have any? Or do you think that people like, because me, I can't lie, I'm like 247 watching the show. You think that we don't have baby? I don't understand. What do you think? See, we cannot see. Or what? It's better you just, two things though. It's better you say no comment or you just point it out. Because that'd be real if I was, or if I were crazy woman and you come and tell me it's aggressive cuddle. See, it's better you just told me the truth. That's a lie. Which is a lie. I, won't say, I don't say it's lying, no, but I mean, honey. I don't know a definition of entanglement is you tangled up in this sheet. It wasn't even like she was tangled. There was nothing aggressive in that. So what does that hey, 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 guys help me define the conversation? What does aggressive what does aggressive cuddle mean? Does it help me? I don't, I don't understand. But anyway, that's praise matter. I mean, I like praise, but as soon as I heard him, I was like, oh praise. Ah. Ah, be a man. Because see, no matter what, yeah, let me tell you why, like, I don't know, why not saying the facts? I don't know, but why not saying the facts? Like, what that will cost is that, see, let me tell you, yeah, every time you go, you go for an interview, they will still ask the praise guy, what happened? No, this, this will still come up. It will come, come on, come on, come on. And then if I see you tomorrow, I won't, I won't give you the, get me, come like, a, you know, like, I don't know, Sha, but we just know that we have sense, we have eyes. Maybe in Nigeria, means we have eyes, we can see. Do you get me? Eh? Let's move swiftly, swiftly to Toyo. Oh my god, do you remember Toyo of people in Nigeria Pepe Demi? Yeah, Messi said that Toyo that was tall, had a nice body, he was on Game Up. Get me, and he said he was a stripper, he was a part time stripper. At the party, he always like over danced, he used to dance in Messi, he used to uh, almost see. Toyo has come to tender a public apology to everyone. He said to us, guys, that he lied to us. I'm like, what? I got the much, I got the much. This is come and show my people. I had to come and give you guys this. L let me read to you what he said. But Toyo says that, listen carefully, my darling. He said, for over a year now, I've been living a lie. Some people have advised me to go on with it, but I fear for my mental health, oh my gosh, and my future. So I have chosen to come out. Big Brother was my biggest shot at fame. Ah, was your biggest shot at fame. Hmm. And nothing in the world would could have stopped me from grabbing it with both hands. But somehow, I felt like I wasn't enough. And I needed to do more and be and be more in order to stay relevant. Relevant, guys. To stay relevant and to get some extra clout. I was desperate. The magnitude of the competition I was going for even made me more desperate. So I attached a tag to myself. I am a part-time stripper. That's a tag he attached to himself. I said it to the whole world. I got the hype I wanted, but it was not sustainable. I couldn't live up to it because is this actually on the Instagram page? Um, I couldn't live up to it because where am I? Okay, because actually that's not who I am. But because I have the body, I tried to force it uh, to push. Okay, to push if I could keep living the lie to make it become truth. But the more I did, the more I regretted it. I wasn't, okay, I wasn't depriving, I wasn't deriving any pleasure. And in fact, I felt like I was making a fool of myself. So I had to stop. And here I am to say, I'm sorry I lied. Oh, sorry, I feel bad. No one is perfect. My ultimate strategy has turned back to hurt me. My reputation and my brand. My name is Toyo Ide and I am not a stripper. You'll be meeting the real Toyo real soon. Cheers to new beginnings. Oh, like see, eh, let me tell you guys something. Eh, I understand him and I'm not going to fault him because that the media space is can be such a lie. It can be such a lie, my honey, because see, eh, perfect example. When I went to do YouTube presenting, yeah, if you, if, if you go online, anybody who you watch to want to learn something from it, eh, 
they have they, like now so first of all almost all lagos radio station they all have an accent someone is speaking funne, 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 everywhere so you that speak normal nigerian clean english you feel like i need to now beef up my accent to be a certain way you get me different things where i need to go and do surgery where i need to go and do this as even like at some point i have to say oh me be yourself because if, if, if you watch them you know their setup is very very classy very clinical they are low they are sitting down crossing their legs oh my gosh man you think it, in in this entertainment industry you cannot just think that you need, you need to be a certain way to thrive honey you don't um baby niger when you're feeling the form and, and let me tell you here like baby niger here when you're feeling the form they'll ask you questions see if you feel something and you don't get into that bb ninja house that is not on your pathway it's not for you that's how i believe with me i believe that what is yours will come to you i believe in god so much i believe that god has a plan for everyone's life you get me i have gone i have, I have auditioned for the show bb ninja this is a messy set yeah i didn't get it i will not like then i felt bad i felt bad like how why, why, why. but at the end of the day i made goodies of the time i did work well i'm growing a media company i've gone really far i've gotten better see because you know i i, I started talking about the show for double for double wahala yeah that's what she said yeah then that was my first attempt at presenting i was very very rough we, we, we peppered them i became better i knew how to now converse more i grew like i grew bond i have you get me so in, if it's tough, you don't get it, it's not for you. You don't have to. You don't have to be anybody but yourself. Imagine this guy coming. I can ask somebody what it would take him. And let me know, like, I'm happy he's saying this because that was one reason I didn't like him. I can't lie. Other than that, he used to, he used to snore. But in the house, the fact that that you see that whole stripper something was irritating to me. He, and uh, that's why I didn't like for you because I didn't know as when he's in the party, take off his shirt, dancing. I didn't like to me. I was like, ah, this guy, get out, please. And imagine he was faking it. So only God knows if he had been his real self, he would have liked him even more. I feel bad for him. I hope his for him to even come and say it out. Big gobs to him, guys. Please just say a word of encouragement to him. Because you don't know who's going to read the comments. You don't know how, you don't know who's going to like going to be taught if they, if they read the comments. So please just say just say something to him that would empower him. If possible, go on his Instagram page. Um, I should check his Instagram. Page. We'll just find him. It's Toyosha. I'm sure if we call it type Toyo T U O Y O, his name will come out. Just go and big him up in the comment section. It's not even easy. I'm in this space, honey. Ah, you can't be. You look at people. You think leave everybody and just do you. I'm, this is my mom's house. I told you guys, I, I, it was my mom's house. So I, I, I saved money. Everybody that bought my merch, thank you. Please buy more merch. This is my my new, <laughs> ew, shameless marketing. I, mean, I don't care. This is my new um, gym wear. This is, re this is really sexy. I can't lie. The material is sweet. You get me? It's 14K. But all my merch proceed, eh, that's what I use. I will not lie to. I, had, I bought block. I bought cement. I bought, uh, what's it called? Paint, I bought wallpaper. That's what I used to build from one corner of my mom's house. So that used to be like a store. I had to clean it up, put block, build an office. This is how I have my office. I'm filming now by what time? 11 23. But I'm not disturbing anybody. When I came to her house, I was filming in her room. I remember one day, let me tell you guys. Eh? I remember one day that I was filming in her room. Eh? Mom was a darling. She had to, she, she endured. I was filming eh? and she was sleeping and you know she was kind of like snoring and my mic was capturing her snore in the conversation everybody was dragging me ah i can hear snore i can hear snore i can hear snore but um, that was my reality bruh that was i was in my mom's room my backdrop if you go back to my pe pepper them you see it. My backdrop was her wardrobe. But look at me now. And only God knows where, because my God's grace is going to blow me, yeah? Look at where I'll be tomorrow. You don't have to be anybody but yourself. You will go. I mean, look at me now. I have a camera. I have a dope laptop. I have lights. I have a TV in my office. I have backdrop. As in, I'm getting professional. I have stands. I mean, because before, before now, I told you guys, I used to live, live on my own on the island. But even on the island, guys, all the money I make is going to 
um, what's it called? It's going to um, house rent, it's going to estate bill, all those nonsense, estate deal, la 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 la. But now that I'm in a house, I make money, I can't imagine me building office around this house of money that I use, I got from selling my shirts and my merch. Please, eh? Don't be under pressure. Even people that are working, because that one too, there's still pressure. Eh? Be real, truthful to yourself. If you don't get it, it's not your own. Ah. I don't know that you, me, if I'm, in, if I'm, if I'm watching Bibi Ninja, I'll be saying, ah, if Biggie asks me a question, I'll be like, ah, I can't help me. I'll be asking the question myself. I wish I were there, obviously. But I'd rather do this for now because I'm sure, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm sure, my kind of life that I'm living, I don't know, me, I see from 8.50 to 9.30, I used to pray every day. I used to pray to Kabbat, I used to uh, I'm not sure if I can pray in there. I'm not seeing anybody who has, got, who has prayed except Jackie. So I'm sure if I go there, I want to now tone down my prayerful self because, ah, be yourself, honey, don't worry. And if you're yourself and you believe in God and you work hard, what is yours will come to you. Be real. Do you get me? That's all for today. Today, today, I mean, today, I think today was good. What do you think? Was it good? It was so many comment section. Guys. I'm trying to do better at talking really slow. I'm trying to drag it. I, I had to tell it to God and God come and help me talk well. So I mean, tell me if I did a good job with not talking really fast. I would like to know in the comment section. I, I saw your comment last time. You, you, you people were like, oh, you're doing well. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. But tell me if, if I did well. And really, let me order my gym wear. No, really, this is... Come on, tell this chair to shift, Joe. This is a dope gym wear. This is like our newest collection. It's very, it's so nice. The material is the best material for gym wear ever. It actually closes like to up here. Shift. Closes up here like this, you get me? Oh, this is the really sweetest part. Yeah, I go to the gym, I must zip it up here like this. Closes up here, but because of my mech, I had to just open it to that. It's dope! It's only 14,000 naira. Um, delivery fee to Lagos is 1k. Outside Lagos is more than 1k, but it's just a little more, more than 1k, a little more stuff. But that's see, I love see, I love you guys. We are real people here. Yeah. We need to form, we need to do anything. And for all of you in Niger, like live videos, go to my Instagram page and talk to your homie TV on Instagram. Go and watch it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye, guys.